So earlier today, CGP7 1.5 released, and they've added quite a lot of new stuff actually. So if, oops, I <laughs> didn't mean to press that. If we actually press like the little like L and R buttons, you could do the same thing on a 3DS obviously. You can actually just switch the characters right through here instead of having to go through an entire menu. Which is honestly like impressive and really cool that they were able to implement this. I'm not sure if you'll be able to add more with your custom characters, but I assume you probably could. If you can, then you probably just replace one of these characters. What's really cool about this sort of stuff is the fact that your icon actually changes down at the bottom right too. So I think I'm going to go with Mr. L for today. So we're going to be in time trial mode today because today we're going to be searching for blue coins. So this was actually another part that was added within the update. You have to go and search around for blue coins on every single track, including the base game and custom track. So there's, I mean, if you look at the bottom right, there's quite a lot of tracks we're going to have to go through. But today we're going to be focusing on the base game and we'll see what we go from there because I'm not sure how hard some of this stuff is going to be, but it's definitely going to be exciting to try to go and search for these coins. So I guess these blue coins could literally just be anywhere on here. So we're going to have to like really, really search because they could even possibly be in the grass and I don't think they would show up on the mini map either. I'm just hoping that they're not going to be like these like super, super like, you know, like abstract types of like areas where you'd have to like do, I don't know, like a huge shortcut or something. I have a feeling they would do that, but I don't know. Okay, so far I haven't found the one on Toad Circuit. I'm just going to literally look around every single corner. Make sure that I'm not missing any spec. There it is! There's the one on Toad Circuit. 119 tracks remaining. Oh my gosh, that's going to be so insane. So I was just curious on what would happen if I ended up restarting this. And they actually just turned into great coins, which is, I guess, cool. <laughs> kind of implements that you already collected the one from the stage, which is... That's pretty cool. Yeah, just ignore... Uh, just ignore what's kind of going on in this section because, um, you know, my, my 3DS was kind of having a little bit of issues when running this. And, uh, you know, this had a weird side effect with it. So I guess every copy of Mario Kart 7 is personalized. All right, time to just search through the grass. You know, every single corner that I see, I'm going to just be like, oh, what's right here? <laughs> but it's not. I mean, there's not very many areas you can go on Daisy Hills, so, like, it's it's got to be around here, right? Unless if they hit it, like, on top of, like, some really weird area, like, up there or something. I have a feeling it's going to be having to do with something. It better not be just, like, sitting in the sky or something dumb like that. Oh, ah, gosh, I didn't make it up there, so hopefully it's not up there. Oh, it's going to be behind here, isn't it? Oh, wow, I've... Kind of surprised. I would have thought that maybe would have been there. It's got to be up on that roof, right? Wait, what is that blue thing right there? I, I can't see. Camera, work. Lock it to. Do your actual job. I cannot see if it's up there. I don't know. We're going to have to probably go back because I think we must have missed it somewhere. <laughs> oh, gosh. Is it going to be some sort of, like, out-of-bounds, like, crap that's going on? Like, I have looked every single inch on this track and have not found anything. Can I, for whatever reason, drive on top of... Oh, I can drive on top of that, but can I go behind here is the question. Probably not. If it does, though, I don't even know how I react. And nope, I just fell right into the water. Are some of these going to end up requiring me to, like, fall off at all? Like, you know, like, in the death... <laughs> Hold on, it wouldn't be something obscure like inside of a pipe or something, right? I highly doubt it. Yeah. I don't see any coins up in the air. Is is there so? Am I just like completely blind or is it like at the end of the roof or... I can't tell. Where where else would it be? Try taking it nice and slow on this rooftop except it keeps pushing me. Stop. <gasps> it's right there. Oh my gosh. I don't know why that took me so... Why did I go on the roof in the first place? I've noticed in a pattern though, it seems like all these coins are towards the end of the track. So I can only assume, I mean, you can't really assume much because like, it probably is gonna be in a more obscure areas, I assume in more of the harder tracks maybe? Cheap Cheap Lagoon is like, you know, one of those other tracks that, actually there is quite a lot of areas you can go on this track. I'm, I, you know what, I, my prediction is that it's going to be down, like, literally right at the edge here or something stupid. <laughs> okay. 
Oh, yeah. Wow. Because I didn't call that just barely, guys. It's literally sitting right in front of here. Okay, that's pretty awesome. That's so funny how it was literally just sitting right there. It's like, oh, let's go check down here. Oh, it's right there. <laughs> you know, this mode is honestly, like, really fun just for the fact that, like, you just get to explore. Like, it's not like you're racing or anything. You just get to relax, kind of search around and see if you can find, you know, like, the secret blue coin or something, you know? I think this honestly makes this really cool, and I'm... I, I, I've... I wasn't... I... I I'm, I'm speechless. <laughs> It has more of like that free roaming experience that I've always wanted to see Mario Kart have. All right, so far I have not found the blue coin in Shy Guy Bazaar. I'm gonna try slowing down right here if I can, because I'm gonna assume it's behind one of these pots, maybe? Nope, not even close. <laughs> okay, I don't remember what's after this point. Unless if it's like around this corner or something kind of a little bit more lame this time, but I don't think they'd hide it that easily. Wow, okay, so we already went one way around, and it's it's literally not here, so. <laughs> the only other spot that I can assume it would be is probably up here, and I, I have a feeling, I have a strong feeling that it's on one of these stupid tents. I do not see it from any area I'm looking at. Okay, so it's not up here either. That is a little concerning. That little bitch! I can't believe that coin was literally just hiding right beside a, a rock. I would have never noticed that if I hadn't turned around. How in the world am I going to get that? Oh, I did get it! Oh my gosh! I thought I almost missed it again. I was gonna be like, come on! But we're okay this time. We got the coin. With how long this has already taken me, over 30 minutes of recording already so far just for the first cup. I think it might be easier for me to split this up for like four cups for each video for, you know, like this coin collecting series because it's taking a lot out of me. <laughs> and then we've got stuff like Woohoo Loop, 3DS Rainbow Road, uh, uh, Rock Rock Mountain. I don't, Woohoo Loop is going to take me ages. If I were having to guess, I've like searched for like at least four minutes or so. I can already see it, it's back there. Good, I was gonna be like, if it's not back here, we were gonna be in some deep shit. <laughs> I feel like something up here is gonna be where it is, right? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's gotta be right here, right? Around this corner, maybe? Yeah, nope. Okay, now we gotta keep searching. <laughs> if I was a blue coin, where would I be hiding myself? Wait, I just saw something... Oh, I'm just losing my mind. I thought I saw something blue shining up there. I was like right there but no I'm just losing my mind I have searched everywhere on this track my last resort is just checking all these bushes because they could be hiding in there but I don't really know I feel like really stupid right now because like I I'm so brain dead I don't know where to look she's in change Run away, but we're running in circles. Run away, run away. I just wanna find this fucking coin. I can't find the freaking thing today. I'm gonna go insane. Fuck this game, I am going to kill. Um, I saw. Is that the coin right? I can see it! Oh my gosh, I was so lucky to even, like, catch on to that. Now the question is, how in the world am I going to get myself to even launch up to there? Unless if I can go on these little pads, maybe? If I can get myself- oh, that, that works. And I collected the blue coin. Thank God that is over. That was definitely the hardest one yet. <laughs> that took no more than how many seconds was that can i that that must have been like literally 10 seconds that was like a world 
<laughs> it was like a freaking world record right there, bro. Oh my gosh. This course is definitely gonna be a pain in the ass, and I almost feel like they're gonna hide it through here somewhere, but it doesn't look like it's there. And I'll say that now, but then it'll probably just end up being there later on. <laughs> my biggest assumption is that it's gonna be literally right under here, so I'm just gonna have myself kind of fall down. <laughs> thing about this track is I have to look around every single one of these freaking trees and it's gonna take me forever. I think the most interesting one that I'm gonna end up needing to go through is SNES Mario Circuit 2 because like you know that's an SNES course so like I, I don't know how difficult they'll end up making that. I have a weird feeling that they might put it on like the ultra shortcut section and I will probably kill someone if that ends up happening but if it doesn't then I would be praising the Lord Jesus Christ for like two million years. It's gonna be behind this one tree, I'm calling it. I'm wrong. I'm starting to get a little worried now because we're approaching the end of the course. Hold on, I think I'm gonna go and check back at something over here because I actually didn't look backwards over here yet, so I'm not gonna, you know, go waste my time looking around the entire track until I check right here. Huh. <laughs> what if it's hiding somewhere like in the clock? Oh, I see it! It's up there! Hold on, hold on, hold on. Get, get this boost. I already missed it. Okay, so this time, don't miss the pipe with the wind poking out of it. Hit it and then angle yourself. Why is there no wind? It's probably second lap, right? <laughs> yeah, okay. It was on second lap. I'm, I'm like so stupid. <laughs> okay, hit it. How did I miss it? It was literally a, s a centimeter. A uh, centimeter. Look at this. How the coin was right there, right? The co the coin is like this finger, right? Let me let me just use my Elgato thing. The coin is this, right? I literally no. We gotta make this more accurate. So let me show you what I did. I went. Uh, this is the glider, right? Whoop! You start flying down, right? The coin is right here on top of the pipe. It's spinning. You know, trying to get my attention. How in the world did the Ouija go like, oh, yep, let's go, whoop, oh, oh, oh. How did this happen? I was at least touching it a little bit, right? There we go. Another blue coin collected. Thank God. <laughs> -uh, I'm going to search immediately. I'm getting dragged by the water. I'm so I, I I'm so godlike for even bothering to look around. It's on top of that. Okay, okay, okay. I think we got this. I think I could try to go for this. Oh, you literally just float up. Except somehow I missed it. There we go. Wow, that was pretty simple for Wario Shipyard, except I didn't know this whole area was open up like this. That's interesting, but yeah, good thing I turned around. <laughs> this is one of the tracks I'm sort of scared about, because, like, there's, like, that big shortcut where you can go, like, in between that area right there. Like, I, I, I'm a little scared, and I'm gonna just check to see if they would do something. I despise you with every fiber in my being. Crap. Okay, so I'm assuming we're gonna have to take this, right? Because I have no idea what I'm doing. I think I'm overthinking this one a little bit too much. Maybe I can just get away with going like this. I keep missing it! It's right there! Right on the money! No! No! Okay, turn slowly. There we go! Blue coin, baby! Oh gosh, this one might be worse than Woohoo Loop. What's probably going to end up happening in the end of this course specifically is it's probably towards the ending section. Huh? Is, is is that even possible? I don't know how this is gonna be possible, but 
I'm going to try. Oh, wow. We can go really, really high. Oh, I missed it. I have to restart that all over again. Third time's the charm, am I right, guys? Coin, coin, coin! Oh, good, we got it. Final cup for today. And I've been recording for over an hour and a half. The fact that I don't have, like, you know, as much experience with um, the custom tracks as much as the base game tracks is already telling me it's going to be much longer for <laughs> the custom tracks. Well, I already saw that one. I was going to try going off the edge, and then I saw it's right there. So, I don't think this one will be too difficult. Don't jinx it, Ryder. Okay, yeah, that one was actually not that bad. I'm, I'm glad that we got a little bit more of an easier one. Because we all know, <laughs> 3DS Rainbow Road is probably going to be the worst one out of them all. The hardest part about Rosalind's Ice World is figuring out... <laughs> What is the darker blue and what is it blue? Because, like, this is going to be quite annoying. Because there's literally just blue everywhere. Oh, I see. It's right there. How are we supposed to get behind the house? Oh, there's an inch there. Wow, Ryder, you didn't even jump that time. There we go. That one, I, <laughs> that one was kind of really confusing to figure out at first, but I'm glad we found it pretty early on because this would have been way more difficult if I didn't find it because of how much blue there is. <sighs> I literally was like leaning back in my chair because I've been here for like almost seven minutes searching around this stupid track. Now, since I know where it is, I'm going to have to turn around. You guys probably saw it <laughs> right here right here it's literally the same thing as what was the other track that we were doing that rider there's no way you can miss it now where was it that time it <laughs> now for the fifth billionth time there we go there's the blue coin I beg that 3DS Rainbow Road will be the easiest one out of every single one of these tracks, please. I think if they wanted to be nice to me, they just put at the end of the moon here, right? <laughs> please let that be the case. Oh, don't look like it. <laughs> I have a strange feeling that the blue coin is probably right behind one of these meteors. Unless if it's on the shortcut there somewhere doesn't seem to be there, so I guess I'm going to have to replay through this entire track again. I had a feeling <laughs> that that glider might have been used for going underneath because of how Market 7's physics are. Glad to see that I know where it is now. Thankfully, I tried it out just in case because, like, if I didn't, I would have been, like, going through the entire track, suspecting that the meteor section would have had it. I might just get there at last split second, maybe. Oh! First thing off? No restarting? I must be dreaming. I gotta pinch myself. Oh! Alright, I think that's it for CGP7 blue coin grinding today. That took a lot out of me, and especially with it being over two hours of footage I have to go edit through now. <laughs> While it was stressful at some points, honestly, it's really, really fun. Now, if you get the chance to, I highly recommend checking out CGP7. Especially with all this insane stuff that keeps getting added. And when you look at that, we've got such a beautiful course getting shown off for us. <laughs> this is such a legendary course. Part 2 will be in the works at some point, which we will be doing the retro tracks from the base game. It's going to take us quite a long time to get through all these blue coin challenges. So thank you all so much for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one. I'm tired, I'm going to sleep, it's like... Uh, what time is it right now? Oh, two, almost 2 a.m. in the morning. I'm tired. Good night, guys.